Hey guys, been a little while, um, so I thought I'd do a short update video just um, addressing some of the issues that I've been having with the power wall and the BMS because things are getting a little bit further and some of those things are getting solved now. Um, as you can see, I've had a bit of a tidy up with the wiring. Um, the load wire, I've tidied that up and got it all neatly um, away. Um, just at the side, you'll see that I've tidied up the Wemos D1 Mini um, and that's just mounted on the wooden board and also a small USB breakout and that's powering the Wemos as well so that in turn the Wemos has now been powered off the, the main pack so it's all self-sufficient um, which makes things a little bit easier. Um, for now I've just kind of double-sided foamed those on. I might do some 3D printed mounts which I could then screw on but to be honest those things stick really well and it means I can move it around pretty easy so that, that that's fine. Um, the main issue I was having um, from the last video and the video before, which I've been pulling my hair out, was the interference. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, I tried the twisted wires here. That didn't fix the issue. Um, what did fix the issue is the power lead from the inverter um, to the mains. Um, and I found a lead that has ferrules on both ends of the cable. Um, put that in, fixed, perfectly fine. So I'm not sure whether it was the the cable I was using. Yeah, it, it had no ferrules, but you know, cheaper cable, whatever it was, um, wasn't coiled in any particular fashion or anything. So whatever it was, it was doing that interference and totally reproducible um, with this cable. And now it's great. And so now as it is, it's working. I can leave this connected all, all the time. Um, when it starts getting enough power coming in, um, it'll get above the threshold that I've set and using the new feature that I showed in the last video So I think I've got it above four volts It'll kick in the balancing feature and that'll kind of do kind of a top balance And um, that's only going to happen at the peak during the day um, As long as it's above 26 volts the inverter will be working um, That I've got a low voltage cutoff set for 24 volts for that So it's not going to drain the pack down too much and 24 volts still leaves a little bit headroom so things like the garage lights that I mentioned in the last video um, that's not going to run the pack down completely overnight because um, there is a decent amount of power still left so that's that addressed now working which was the main thing so if anyone has a, an issue with the, the GTIL inverters um, just make sure the cable you've got connecting to your power um, if you get any interference that's definitely one to check um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the computer and just I've done two updates to the BMS so I'll show those. So as I mentioned there's a couple of new features. Um, the first is I've put in a reset controller option. Um, except that's not going to be need to be used too often but it's in there if you're remote and you think it might have an issue you know the first rule is always give it a reboot so you can do that remotely and um, just the click of the button. Um, the second option is that I'm now pushing through an additional status to um, Grafana um, and that status is the balance what the balancing status currently is um, and you have an option to say that you've kicked off a manual balance um, auto balancing is enabled it also shows that when auto balancing is enabled and one of the cells is in bypass it'll also show if one of your cells has went over max voltage um, and so that safety features kicked in and also show that it's disabled. Um, I think I've listed all those individually there, um, but I have in my code just documented that there. Um, there might be the odd time where it takes a, a minute or two to, to update that. Um, so if you find any gotchas, then please just do let us know. Um, like it seems to think uh, cells and bypass here, but then you can see it's stuck updating. Um, that's the only thing for testing. Um, you'll notice that, that in modules, there's none of them in bypass. Um, there you go, it's gone. What I do find I, I had just for testing, I dropped this down to 10 seconds. Um, don't know if it's because it's from the Raspberry Pi or the web browser side, but sometimes when you've got a lot of individual items and you're updating them every 10 seconds, it actually takes longer than 10 seconds to update everything. Um, so yeah, so that's that comes through now, um, which I thought was just a, a small handy one. Um, so that's the two new features. I have been asked to post through the average cell voltage, um, which someone had requested just out of curiosity. 
Um, you can work that out in Grafana, they did figure that out, but it might be handy just to have that come through purely because the reason I mentioned before there, because of the update um, inconsistency or lag between what's actually happening here and what's posted in Grafana, um, that could potentially be out of sync with what's shown here. So that might be handy just to have that posted through um, and then you can uh, you can see that. And it's one of those things, you can put it in InfluxDB and then it's up to you whether you graph that in Grafana or not. And it's the same as the balancing status, you might not be interested in the temperature and thing. you don't have to show those. Um, but as it is, like I mentioned earlier, it's working pretty pretty well now. Um, I discussed briefly with Stuart and he had an idea of moving the balancing to the modules. I'm not quite sure how that would work, but one thing I do feel that would be a good move to the modules is the safety feature um, of the max voltage that you set through the interface here, which is the uh, max allowed cell voltage. What would make sense if, is if that's passed to the module itself, and then if the controller fails for whatever reason, loses power, crashes, whatever um, circumstance, at least the module knows it can't go above that set voltage, so it is a proper safety feature then. At the moment, that, that will happen as long as the controller is working. Um, it is only obviously going to burn off a certain amount that that bypass um, resistor is going to do, but it is a nice little safety thing. Um, so that's something I'm going to consider doing. And another second one, which I think will be extremely um, useful in my situation, is to be able to monitor the current that's coming out from the inverter, or the power um, ultimately, um, being sorry used by the inverter from the battery pack. So I'm just going to use a small ACS 7112. Um, I've done some code for that already and that seems to be working okay. So I just need to integrate that into the interface um, and then into uh, being posted to InfluxDB. And then that means I'll be able to graph it in Grafana. And then so what I'll be able to do is the consumed energy, I'll be able to see what is actually being correctly used. Because at the moment, this is just what's used on the load of the charge controller and there's not much used on there at all, it's just some of those lights in the garage that I've mentioned in previous videos. So it'd be really great to see what that inverter is using and um, to get a true representation. Because at the moment you can see there's a massive disparity between energy generators, 127 kilowatts, in, um, since I've been using a charge controller and only 7 kilowatt energy consumed. Well that's not true, that other 120 um, is been going on the inverter and other things. So that's, um, that would be handy to see. So that's th those two last things I'm going to do. I'm not in a rush at the moment though because it is working and it, it maybe get the little, any little bugs out of the way first before I then play along with more features. So like I say, pretty happy with that. Um, I have just remembered one thing that I meant to show on the um, actual power wall itself. So I'm just going to switch back and then I'll do that and finish up the video. One thing that I uh, forgot to mention earlier is that, um, interestingly, my original Wi-Fi uh, to RS-485 board um, just stopped working with the tracer. Um, and at first I just couldn't figure that out. Um, it works with the Landstar controller I have. Um, I used the USB adapter that I have. That worked. Um, so I think what it might be is that the data lines A and B are duplicated on the RJ45 connector. Um, so I'm wondering if one of those lines has become faulty. So I will go back and test that with the USB because um, maybe I've just hit pot luck and used the correct ones there or the working ones. Uh, but that was very interesting that I just failed working. So what I have done is I've um, switched back to, um, or switched over to using the custom PCB that um, Adam Welch created um, that I've been meaning to test out for a while um, and I've just used that small 3D printer box and I've just stuck that onto there as well similar to what I did with the others um, interestingly just took the ESP because it was all configured straight out of this module here um, plugged it in there wired up the tail um, brilliant working fine again but the difference is that when I wired this up I soldered A and A together sold it in the A connector and B and B correspondingly as well um, and so that's working again. I'd like to say that it definitely wasn't this, um, but just as a word of caution, if anyone experiences a failure, it'd be um, great to know and maybe check the other line. Um, but I was very curious because I could still connect to the ESP 
um, go straight to the web interface, could ping it, everything like that. I could use SoCar to create the connection, but for some reason it just wouldn't actually talk to it. Um, so that would kind of make sense if it was getting power, but there was a problem on the data lines. So I'll check that as well, um, and maybe I'll mention it in a future video. So just to want to wrap things up, um, thanks for watching. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, and uh, thanks very much.